Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Nilifer Ramji. It's the season of change aboard the International Space Station, with one Crew Dragon arriving and another preparing to depart. Eleven astronauts and cosmonauts are living together aboard the space station following the arrival of SpaceX Crew 7 mission on Sunday, August 29th. I think um, we represent a good crew to be coming to the International Space Station. Um, and I know um, for three of you, you've seen a lot of different crew come through. So uh, we hope you, you teach us how to do things efficiently and uh, effectively. And we're proud to join this team. Crew 7 represents four countries, which include NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli, Danish astronaut Andreas Mogesen, Japanese astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, and Russian cosmonaut Konstantin Borisov. Definitely an international crew for the International Space Station. And while the new crew get adapted to life in microgravity, another is getting ready to return home. Crew 6 began their space station mission in March with NASA Commander Stephen Bowen, NASA pilot Woody Hoberg, and mission specialist Sultan Olnayadi from the United Arab Emirates and Andrei Fediev of Roscosmos. I think we got a lot done. We uh, started off with SpaceX 27 right away, a cargo vehicle full of science. Uh, later we had the SpaceX 28 mission as well. We welcomed a visiting Axiom crew on board. We did three spacewalks amongst our crew six. We birthed the Cygnus vehicle. We did a lot of maintenance and hopefully we're leaving the, the space station just a little bit better than we uh, found it. Did you know that there is a significant need to improve cell-based therapies for severe blood diseases like leukemia and other blood cancers? Have you ever thought about what it would take to produce stem cells in space? One of these investigations returning with Crew-6 is studying just that. The Stem Cell X H Pathfinder experiment tests methods for producing human hematopoietic stem cells in space. This kind of stem cell gives rise to blood and immune cells and has potential as a treatment for patients with blood diseases and cancers. Producing them in space could lead to the ability to yield greater numbers of stem cells with superior attributes for clinical use and could significantly improve patient outcomes. You can catch all of the events leading to the return of the Crew-6 mission. Live coverage will be on NASA TV, NASA.gov, and the NASA app. That's Vistagram for this week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.